Upstairs, I find my wife Angie waving her arms in midair, conducting the paintbrushes and rollers like a symphony orchestra. She's redecorating the nursery again. I nod graciously while she explains how our baby would respond better to a more winter green palette. There are only a few patches of soft ivory left on the walls. Last month was a pale turquoise. Before that, a powder blue. Four years ago, we settled on light beige. Now her demeanor overalls were rainbow stained. Before I can stop myself, I think soon we're gonna need a bigger fucking color swatch. Then Angie's expression darkens. The light bulb in the ceiling blinks. I quickly imagine plants and trees. Green is perfect. Our child will feel like they're surrounded by nature. She brightens up and then beckons me towards her. I slide across the room without moving my feet. Standing on her tiptoes, she gives me a kiss and asks me how my day was. I'm midway through telling her about my new sushi place. But she interrupts with, "I've got something to show you." It's a Facebook group started by a lady in New Zealand who has been pregnant for five and a half years. The members all suffer from a condition where no detectable HCG can be found in their system due to the hormonal imbalance, resulting in an unusually long pregnancy. Both blood and urine tests will be negative. Along with ultrasounds, Angie said she's going to show it to somebody. I force a smile and say, "That's great, honey." But I can't help but cringing feel inside. Hopefully, the next doctor is more understanding than the last one. He chuckled when Angie explained the nature of her disorder. Poor guy had to have a closed casket funeral. Brushes and rollers all come to a stop again as Angie shoots me a look. My thoughts immediately switch from condescending doctors to the salmon sashimi I had for lunch to how tasty it was mixed with soy sauce. I should really take Angie there and have her order the platters she is eating for two. Around the room, utensils spring back to life. Far side of the house, I stare at the ceiling in my study. And you can't hear my thoughts from this far away. My wife is completely delusional, which, combined with her talents, makes her dangerous. From the hall, and she shouts, "We need to go shopping for baby clothes." Before I can catch myself, I think again. Plaster flax off the ceiling. As the walls start to rumble, I think of pointless things like two plus two is four. The door splinters in half. I picture Angie in a warm rocking chair, a beautiful newborn nested in her arms. The baby has her nose, her smile, beautiful emerald eyes. My wife is four years pregnant. Only four years, so she will surely start to show any day now. I can't wait to be a father. I think to myself. The house finally settles, and I say, "Sure thing, honey."